start by Blake and the Seville. Of Blake Seville steps forward. Johan Blake. Akeem Blake is coming forward as well. Seville and Johan Blake. Jamaica's Johan Blake came onto the scene as one of the world's most promising junior athletes by first winning the sprint double 100 meters and 200 meters at the 2005 Caribbean Free Trade Association Carifta Games in Bacolet, Trinidad and Tobago. The world, more so the Caribbean, began taking notice of the then St. Jago High School, which was winning multiple boys' school championship champs titles. Blake continued to be consistent as a junior as he won more medals at the Carifta, Central America, and Caribbean Junior Championships, along with the World Junior Championships. Blake ended his junior career as one of the most successful junior athletes as he earned nine goals and two silver medals. In 2009, Blake decided to begin his professional career after having broken Raymond Stewart's national junior record in the 100 meters from 10.19 seconds to 10.11 seconds in 2007. However, his first year of being a professional athlete was tainted as he tested positive for the stimulant methylhexanamine after making the team for the Berlin World Championships. Blake was eventually cleared and was allowed to return to competition in 2010. 2010 saw the light in Blake's career as he went below 10 seconds for the first time and ran multiple sub-10s in the 100 meters. As he finished the season with a solid personal best of 9.91 seconds and a massive 200 meter personal best of 19.78 seconds, these series of performances shaped all that was to come in 2011. In 2011, Blake, at just 21 years old, made his first senior team in the 100 meter to the Daegu World Championships. This was set up to be Blake's time to become a world champion, as he only lost two races leading up to the championship. The final was set up to be a showdown with Usain Bolt. However, Bolt false started, which led Blake to win easily 9.92 seconds. This made Blake the youngest world champion over the distance. Later in the championship, Blake joined a dream team of Nesta Carter, Michael Freyta, and Usain Bolt to win the 4x100m in a new world record of 37.04 seconds and beat the field by over a second. Blake ended his season with the second fastest time in the history of the 200m by running 19.26 seconds. Only Usain Bolt's 19.19 seconds is faster. Again, Blake's 2011 was setting him up to have a fantastic 2012. 2012 was arguably Blake's best year as he set a massive upset at the Jamaica Olympic Trials as he beat the world record holder Usain Bolt in both the 100m and 200m. In times of 9.75 seconds and 19.80 seconds, setting him up as the favorite for both titles in London. However, when the Olympic Games came around, like the true champion that he was, Usain Bolt managed to regain the sprint double by becoming the first man in history to defend the Olympic titles at both 100 meter and 200 meters. Blake had to settle for silver in both events, as well as being part of a clean sweep in the 200 meter, with Usain Bolt winning and Warren Ware placing third. Blake was then a part of a legendary team with Nesta Carter, Michael Freyta, and Usain Bolt to produce another world record in the 4x100 meter in 36.84 seconds and become the first team to go sub 37. After the Olympics, Blake went on to run the second fastest 100 meter in his penultimate race at the Lausanne Diamond League in 9.69 seconds. Blake was shaping up to have a few more solid seasons, but between 2013 and 2015, he battled many serious injuries, which led fans to question whether or not he will make another team as his fastest time in the three-year span was 10.02 seconds for the 100 meter and 20.48 seconds for the 200 meter. In 2016, Blake returned to somewhat his best as he made the Olympic team for Rio in the 100 meter and 200 meter. Blake ran multiple sub 10s at a 100 meter, then made the Olympic final and ran a season's best of 9.93 seconds and made only the semi final of the 200 meter. Blake then went on to secure another relay gold in the 4x100 meter. 
In 2017, Blake returned to London for the World Championships by running a season's best of 9.99 seconds in the 100 meter to place fourth, then only managed to reach the semi-final 200 meter. Blake went on to be a part of Usain Bolt's last relay race, but unfortunately, as Bolt pulled up on the anchor. In 2018, Blake won his first individual medal in six years by taking bronze in the 100 meter at the Commonwealth Games and took bronze in the 4x100 meter. In 2019, fans were extremely worried about Blake as he did not look as sharp to win a medal at the Doha World Championships. He ran well in the 100 meter, but again fell short by placing fifth in 9.97 seconds and then making it only to the semi final of the 200 meter. With the postponement of the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, Blake returned and made the Olympic team, which was potentially his last Olympics. Blake made it to the Olympic semi final, placing sixth and not making the final. This was the first time in Blake's career that he did not make a global 100 meter final. He then scratched from the 200 meter and was a part of a prospective medal winning quartet in the 4x100 meter final, but finished fourth after Great Britain was disqualified. After the games, Blake was disappointed and looked as if his better days were behind him. 2022 saw Blake biding his time by running consistent races in the Continental Tour and other meets, but his times were not impressive. However, Blake came to the Jamaica National Championships by running sub-10s in all the rounds of the 100m, 9.93 seconds, 9.98 seconds, and 9.85 seconds, which is tied for his 10th fastest time. This threw fans into a frenzy, as the Jamaican men looked extremely good as the runner-ups, Oblique Seville and Akeem Blake, ran 9.88 seconds and 9.93 seconds. He and Johan Blake are definitely in medal contention. With the Hayward Field track being extremely fast, Blake could potentially upset the likes of Americans Fred Curley, Trayvon Brommel and Christian Coleman. Also, the Olympic champion Italy's Marcel Jacobs. After saying all this, Johan Blake could be on his way to his best again as the Oregon World Championships gets underway in Oregon at Hayward Field. If you find the information in this video useful, we would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a like, subscribe, share our channel, and turn on the notification bell for our next video as we explore the Caribbean rich cultures together. This is Jairi Caribbean. See you in the next video.